everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life Haul Part 2. Um, if you haven't seen the first part of this haul, I will link it like up here. Um, if you're new to my channel, which a lot of you are, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. I love that you are here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet or if you just stumbled on this video, um, please click that little subscribe button. It's so great for me. It helps my channel out a lot and it just shows me that there's somebody else out there watching. So thank you guys so much. I love how many new people are around. And as always, big shout outs to my people who have been around since the beginning. You guys are my ride or dies. I freaking love ya. Okay, you guys, before I even get into all of the makeup that I'm about to show you, I have to show you my new backpack. Oh my gosh, you guys, how gorgeous is this? It's the softest leather you've ever seen. It's from Liebskin and I will link a, I will find it for you and link it down below. I just ordered it. This was the backpack that Natalie was using as her purse while she was here and I was so obsessed with it. And oddly enough, the day I picked her up is the day after my car accident and my chiropractor told me that I had to put my Louis Vuitton away. He was like, you can't carry that. It's the big never full. He's like, you can't carry that right now. You need to like use a tiny bag. And I was like, what about a backpack? Cause I have a cute little backpack. He's like, yeah, you could do that. And then she rolls up with this bag. And so I ordered it literally that night. I didn't even care. I was like, well, buy money before I met even started. I had spent all my money on this. It's so luxurious. It's expensive. It's definitely a splurge. Let me just tell you that. But so many of you screenshotted it when I showed it on, um, on Snapchat and made me think I better link it for you guys so you can find it. Uh, cause it's really hard to find cause she's kind of got hers a while ago. So now Natalie and I are backpack twins and I cannot wait to take this to New York with me next week for work. I think it'll be the perfect like travel backpack. I literally am obsessed with it. Obsessed. Obsessed. Okay, so you guys know how much I love the By Terry Balm de Rose. My friends over at By Terry were so sweet and sent me the Balm de Rose um, lip care, and this is their Protection Intense. So this is their just, this isn't the crystalline one. This is their just straight, like, intense Balm de Rose, my favorite. Ugh. I love the smell because it's, they actually use real rose oil. They don't use like rose fragrance. It's actually from real roses. Oh, I love the smell so much. So this is like the Balm de Rose that I always have in the pot. This is in the lip wand form. And you guys know that product is a ride or die for me for life. And so I'm so excited that it has the lip wand with it now because I do find that that's easier than having it out of the pot. When I have the pot of it, I always just kind of have it by my bedside. I don't like ever put it in my purse. So this is great because of how much traveling I'm doing right now for work. It's nice to be able to have that in my purse. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. So speaking of lip balms, but on the, so this is like the bougie fancy, like goes, you know, like goes with my Louis Vuitton, but look at these, you guys. Oh my gosh. So you guys know I'm obsessed with the game the little Tsum Tsum game, T-S-U-M, T-S-U-M, and it is the Disney characters and they're squished into a little round and you play like Tetris with them or like not Tetris, but you connect them or whatever. And I'm like obsessed with the game. I play it all the time. I've played it. I've been playing it for like probably two years. So long. I don't play any other games. Occasionally I'll play some Candy Crush, but really, and look at how cute these are. So Lip Smackers has the Tsum Tsum um, characters in lip balms. I have another one. I don't know where it is. Um, but this is the blue tang berry flavor and this is um i don't know who this is is this the oh this is a one of the ones from finding nemo i wish they had their names on it because i don't know that movie very well and then this is the pixie peach pie obviously tinkerbell so cute and then my other one, I think I, I don't know where it is because it's in one of my purses or something. So, but look at, I just am obsessed with these and thank you lip smackers for sending these my way because I'm the biggest some some nerd on the planet. So it was like really sweet of them to send those. My roommate got me this for Christmas. This is from one of my roommates. This is a new Smith and Colt nail polish. And this is the Doe My Dear. I didn't even show any of my Christmas like what I got for Christmas because I don't know that seems weird to do I've done it before but I didn't do it this year but I do want to show a couple things on here because this polish is amazing this is what I have on my fingers this is day six on my nails and one tiny little baby chip on this finger that's it and I'm using she also got me the HK girl top coat which I never had used before so I will link these both for you because um, I think they're amazing. And 
I just love, this is, listen, I feel like nice ex expensive nail polish is a splurge. The Smith & Colt is five free, five or six free. Um, I love the packaging. I think it looks so luxe. And you can take this big, pretty, like bulky top off so that you have a normal, like paint, paint, a normal um, brush to paint your nails with. And I didn't know that until like the second or third time that I used this. And I was like, oh, that makes it a lot easier. So anyway, this is Doe My Dear. Love it. Okay. Um, Pure Cosmetics um, was really generous to send me a bunch of their pure eye polishes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to like have a little bit of a swatch fest in the middle of this haul because why not? Okay, starting with this one, this shade is called Silk. And it's kind of interesting because it's got a little bit of like a, it's a wet, tech, wet like texture and it has a little bit of like a little cheesecloth screen right there and so you just get some on your finger and these can be worn as a base they can be worn alone or they can be worn as a topper over the top of your lid so that's a pretty like beautiful just like rosy pink color this next one is called satin this looks like it's going to be kind of similar to silk but a lighter shade and this is that's more definitely more of a rose gold that's really beautiful i can see myself wearing that and gravitating to that a lot to be honest okay the next shade up is called cashmere well i love anything cashmere related so oh this is weird because this is like looks kind of like it's dry like i can't get any product hmm interesting let me try it comes with a little silicone flat paddle wand let me see if I can stick that in there and get product no I can't get any product on this well let me just get, kind of get the best that I can so that one looks like it might be dried out which is weird because these just came literally they just came this week that's really pretty that's just a very like pretty champagne color same thing I could wear that a lot but it doesn't look like yeah, just it's so I, I want you to be able to see the difference. Like so this one's like very liquid and you can see kind of it's filled in at the top. And I don't know if you can see the that that one looks like it's a little bit hollow. So I don't know. I'm going to play around with that because that's really a bummer. I would like for that one to work. Um, oh, it looks like this one's the same thing. This is this is velvet and the color is amazing. It's such a me color. But first off, there's like. Oh, here we go. If I really like pressed in there, I could get some on there, but it's pretty dry. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a bummer because look how pretty that is, but it's, it's pretty dry. I'm gonna have to push in there with the little wand and that almost has a duochrome shift to it. It's got that cranberry, but it's got an orange undertone. Um, so that's really pretty. I hope that I can make that one work. Okay, this one is called Caviar, which looks beautiful. Are any of you guys caviar eaters? I am not. Okay, camera stopped there, so sorry about that. This is a really beautiful olive. Oh my gosh. It's got kind of like a gold undertone, and it's got some like gold reflex in it. That is so beautiful. Ooh, a smoky olive eye with a nude lip. <gasps> yes, I'm like so into that. And then this is another one that looks really dry, so let me play around with this. This is suede here, let me see. It's like, I can feel it like in a big like dry clump, like kind of like like falling around in there. It's like what happens, I feel like when the old Benefit ones got dried out. Let me see, it's just like coming out in a powder. Ugh. This sucks, these are, these are like straight from their like warehouse or whatever. I mean, they were kind enough to send them to me, but still is kind of a bummer in terms of like, product yeah it's like just it's all dry it's like just a total dry powder in there so um sadly I'm gonna have to throw suede away um I don't know yeah I can hear it just like kind of like banging around in there and that looks like it would be really pretty but it's too hard to tell so um I haven't used these like I said they just came I just opened them um, I did try one on this morning. I kind of put it all over my eye to see what it was like. I did that with, um, the silk shade, that first one that I swatched for you. Just really bummed that this suede one is a no-go. 
Uh, they are supposed to be like very budge proof too. So it does look like they dry up. Oh, and they dry just like so nice. I mean, I got a little bit of like across the top because I can see where they're still not totally dry, but these do look really cool. They look really pretty. I am going to like kind of give them a chance. And oh, obviously I'm going to play around with all of them and we'll see if I, when I'm wearing these in a video, I'll let you know and I'll kind of give you an update on what I think about these. But at first glance, I think they're so beautiful, but there seems to be some packaging issues. If three of my six came basically dried out, um, that seems like a packaging problem to me. That seems kind of weird. So I don't know if that's like a buyer beware or if this is like a weird kind of like one off situation. If you've played with any of these, let me know if you've had the similar experience, but I do really feel like these are so beautiful. This one right here, this caviar, I'm not kidding you. That is just unbelievable. It is so beautiful. The, the shade is gorgeous. So I mean, I think these will be a lot of fun to play with. It's so interesting that you can put them as an eye topper, which I could see using a couple of the lighter shades, just like as to do a spotlight eye, pop it right in the center. And just to really highlight that center of your eye, I can see that being very beautiful. Okay, moving on to um, some new skincare that is coming to QVC. Uh, I don't know if it's, let's see, yeah, Discover Elemis this January on QVC. I think this is available at Sephora. Uh, this is a luxury skincare line, and um, you're going to be able to save over 65% on the Elemis three-piece kit. This is their Try Me kit, so I want to show this to you because when I, I, when I, I wasn't going to show this, and then I saw that you could save 65%, and I was like, I can't do you dirty like that. I can't do you wrong. I got to, I got to, a sister's got to hook up another sister. 65% is a lot of money. So this is their Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is clinically proven um, and it has, has been shown to reduce the depth of wrinkles, improve skin firmness and hydration in 15 days. So you better believe I'm going to be putting this marine cream to the test. Um, it is powerful, they say. Powerful age-defying cream. This is their deep cleansing balm, which I love a cleansing balm. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, it kind of has like a more of like a lemony essential oil smell to it. It's very clean smelling. So I like a good cleansing balm. And then this is their pro collagen. This is just a little sample of their pro collagen oxygenated, oxygenated night cream, anti-wrinkle night cream. And, um, you know, I'm all about the night cream. So slather it on guys, slather it on. So I think this is like, sounds like it's going to be a really good deal. I will keep you updated on whether I like that because I haven't had a chance to try it out. Once again, it also just came kind of in the mix of Natalie being here and IMAX happening. A lot of stuff showed up and I was just like, I don't have time to swatch all this stuff for you guys. Oh, I'm just seeing too that I forgot to show you guys. And I, I know I have more stuff from IMAX. So I just can't, I don't know where it is when I threw everything. I did pick up another duo um, lash glue. And then this, this is the kind that's the brush on. I thought I was getting the, um, I thought the green packaging was their um, latex free, but it's not. It's the brush on with vitamins. So I'm kind of annoyed because the girl was supposed to give me the latex free one. And this is not that. Okay. Also, so I picked up um right after Christmas I picked up the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation or did I, no right before Christmas I can't I got this right before Christmas this I got shade ivory 12 and it's full coverage foundation it's a serum foundation it's a foundation concentrate so far you guys I hate this does anybody love this do you love this are you wearing this I know you use a tiny tiny amount I get it but I still feel like even with the tiniest amount I look like I have a mask on my face like a not in a good way, like the Instagram face mask, like foundation mask is what I feel like I look like. Um, I also picked up the Lancome Bifacil. Uh, this is their like under eye or eye makeup remover. Cause I feel like sometimes I use so much of, like of Bioderma sometimes to get my eye makeup off. Like that I just wanted to get some eye makeup remover. I love Bioderma though. I don't know. It was an impulse purchase. And then um, also that you can get at Amazon. I mean, also that you can get at Sephora is the Tarte Amazon, uh, what is this? Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I've never tried this. Melissa gave this to me for Christmas. Um, when we went to Disneyland, she brought this for me and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to try this. So this is the next mascara that I will open, which is really exciting because I've been using 
the it cosmetics superhero mascara for so long and because i love it so much but i haven't been testing out any other mascara so that's next on my list to get open i just need to finish i just finished a superhero mascara i need to finish my sicily mascara and then i'm gonna let myself open up another one so that's kind of exciting let's see hang on one second i want to show you some stuff that derma e just sent me too so this is like the rest of this is kind of pr in case you don't want to watch pr stuff but this looks like this is one of their new products. This is their purifying gel cleanser and it's activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is so good for your skin to cleanse out like pure pull impurities from your skin. So I'm actually going to, as soon as I finish filming this, put this right in my shower, take out the uh, cleanser that I have in there. And then it is going to be all about this activated charcoal. So you gently rather lather it uh, over your face and then rinse and it activated charcoal eliminates toxins while mineral rich marine algae extracts help to protect skin against urban pollution. Oh, nice. So that Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream is going to help protect against urban pollution. Lord knows I need it. So I'm excited to try that. And then this is their purifying oil free moisturizer that goes with it. This is also activated charcoal. And I've never used a moisturizer before with activated charcoal. So I'm really curious about that. I definitely am going to give this a try. Um, which means kind of stepping away from my beloved, um, uh, Caudalie, which I've been so obsessed with, but you know what? New year, got to try some new stuff. And then also from Derma E is the Firming D May, Firming de May, D May eye lift, uh, with instant lift and advanced peptides, visibly lifts, tightens and, and, and smooths, uh, away crow feet's crow feet so this is for all skin types and um you know what lately I feel like I haven't been sleeping as well I was just in a like little car accident and so it's harder for me to get comfortable because my back and neck hurt so I do feel like I have under eye bags in fact I felt like all at IMATS because I got in the car accident right before IMATS I feel like all at IMATS all my snapchats looked like I had such like bad bags under my eyes but I just wasn't sleeping well so I certainly need some instant firming um eye cream so I'm gonna actually put that out and use that Okay, I think we might be getting towards the end of this haul. Maybe. This is my um, BeautyCon box, which I'm not usually too impressed with. This came right before Christmas. And I just haven't even had a chance to like open it and like look inside here. So this is curated by... Um, Mm. who's this does anybody know who that is why does it doesn't say anywhere on here i don't know why isn't there a thing usually there's a thing maybe i'll come to it who is this okay let's look in here skin Evolve body karate cream caffeine and argon oil hydrate tone smooth improve skin texture paraben free boom you better believe i'm gonna use this and this is how much is this let's well let's see what it smells like first hmm, it doesn't smell bad perfect i need some firming boy do i need some firming um okay i love this i love that they sent this this is the l'oreal voluminous primer base i freaking love that i've used that for years and then it looks like a new mascara, Voluminous Felina. You guys know that my favorite drugstore mascara of life is L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. And this is shade Black Noir. Um, Noir. Okay, we'll see. That's interesting. Uh, Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I can't use this on my skin. My skin's way too sensitive. Um, so this will be going in a giveaway. I have a giveaway coming up, actually. So that'll go in the giveaway. This is Rimmel London, the, the only one surprise lip color. Oh my gosh, that's cute. That's a very, very bright pink. That is pink punch. That is really bright. Um, they sent a little baby Garnier Skin uh, Active Micellar Cleansing Water, which I think is, is a decent micellar cleansing water. It's not a dupe for the Sensi Bio. It's a knockoff, but not a dupe. Do you know what that means? A knockoff is a cheaper version. A dupe is something that is exactly the same or as good as. So this is a knockoff of that, which I do think is good. Actually, the size of this is awesome. I would fully travel with this. This is 100 ml, which is like, you know, Bioderma has their 100 ml, but this is flatter. So it's better, fits better in my, it would fit better in my suitcase, my little carry-on bag. And then a little baby, um, you know, t like the little sample of the 
Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Is, is it all medium deep or is it, is there, is that the color that every, it always is medium deep? I don't know, but I love the smell of it. It's really pretty. I don't know what I'll do with that. Okay, what else is in here? Um, okay, Artist Couture, Couture, this is Mac Daddy Angel Marino, who I, I know in real life. This is his Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And people like freaking go nuts over this. This is the first time I've had this. And so I can't wait to try that because people love it. Oh, look at another Luxie brush. Like what is it with this company? This is the Luxie Tapered Highlight 522. Well, actually, this one feels better than all the others so far, but um, I don't know. I wasn't crazy about any of the other ones. And then a ColourPop lippy stick. And apparently this is a custom color for the Beautycon X ColourPop. And the shade is called Beautycon. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's so pretty. Based on the box, the external of the box, I thought this is not gonna be pretty, but it's a really pretty peachy terracotta. And this is their just lippy stick, which I think is a satin finish if I remember correctly. So that's kind of exciting. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is BioBell. I love them. I love their face masks. It's their sheet masks. This is their facial mask with chocolate and Aussie Aussie berry. Um, and I love these hydrate and vitalize. Oh my gosh. I love their sheet masks. So I'm so glad that I just saw that in here. And then, Oh, that looks like they're doing, um, VH1 is bringing back America's next top model with probably like a new cast or whatever. So, um, can somebody tell me who this is? I feel like such a jerk. I know I'm leaving stuff out because I have so much stuff in front of me and I feel like, what did I not talk about? But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching two haul videos in a row. If you haven't seen part one, that's all the stuff that I got at IMATS um, and you wanna see that as well. So you guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.